Uh, I'm Lisa and welcome to my channel. So in this video, like you can see from the title, I'm gonna show you what it is living in a countryside during the winter. So we live in Estonia, we live in a small house and um, the winters here are almost six months long. So we have little daylight, we have a lot of snow, oftentimes, sometimes not. We get ice, we get storms, we get everything and anything bit in between. So there's a lot of snow, a lot of snow shoveling, a lot of bringing in firewood and having a fire going to keep the house warm. Uh, also, nothing to do outside much because the weather is awful and sometimes it's good. Then we go sledging or for a walk or something like that but most of the time winter is an indoor season here so yeah we do have a saying there's not a bad weather bad clothing but um, sometimes you just don't want to go outside and totally okay so uh, keep on watching and you'll see what we uh, do during this what the winter time here is like from the backlog too. So there's one uh, when we lost electricity. Uh, we lost electricity because um, often it gets because of like winter storms and stuff, but this year winter storms itself, like any of them, didn't like, they didn't do anything uh, in the ways of taking the electricity or something we had like strong winds and everything nothing happened we had electricity so but the thing was that we had like really a sticky snow coming down and it uh, snowed on the power lines so and the trees so the tree branches started falling uh, breaking and falling when it started to melt and it got really heavy and so they uh, fell on the power lines or the power lines themselves broke. We had we lost p power for a few days um, we had We had some <laughs> but some was missing and then all went missing we have like uh, three phases coming to the house so we lost all of them f for the uh, for some days, few days. So um, otherwise, it's okay. Uh, we manage very well because we have a well outside. We can manually get water from if the power power isn't on. If we don't have power, and um, now with the stove, it is. It has electrical pumps running, but we have a system built up that where we have like um, it automatically switches from 
uh, the main power to the battery power when main power is lost so the pumps keep going even if we don't have electricity from uh, the car battery we have hooked up so there's no worrying uh, that the stove is gonna start boiling or, st or something like that if we have fire going when we lose the power so we can use it when power with power outages and stuff like that this is what the power outages would look like here and this year we um, had to deal with our like um, firewood a lot uh, because um, we didn't buy new firewood so we had problems with our firewood this year because um, our like shed or <laughs> whatever it is uh, that we have for storing our firewood is kind of collapsing on us. It's an old one, I don't know how many years old already, so it's starting to rot at the bottom, so it's it's been coming down slightly with each uh, going, passing year, so uh, we started building a new one last summer, but uh, because we had so many other projects going on, we just couldn't make it um, so but this summer it's a priority to get a new shed up for the firewood and um, we had some firewood from uh, last spring basically yeah, we had it stacked against another like uh, building here so but it was in a wrong size we basically s sawed it in half in first when we had some firewood under the shed we used that up then I started uh, using like a handsaw just to get um, them to half and later on we took a day to move these all to the old shed and cut them in half and just uh, have them ready to go so uh, it lasted us for about I don't know uh, a month from those and now we went to bring in like bring us some more and we stacked it again against uh, the building but th uh, this time uh, they don't need cutting because they are already the short ones we needed so now we brought new firewood and hopefully we will last uh, until the summer with those we also have wooden briquette uh, to add on to the fire which we do so it's been great now with the firewood so the snow shoveling is another part of um, like keeping the uh, everything open for us to move around. So we used our lawnmower like tractor to uh, push the snow out. But later on it got more trickier when the snow accumulated and we didn't have anywhere to put it anymore so I had to shovel it. Uh, like with a hand shovel and everything just physically great workout <laughs> so and sometimes when the weather was nice it was okay I put on my headphones I will had my podcasts going when I was uh, driving with the tractor I had Taylor Swift going so uh, it was fun <laughs> but finally you get tired of it if you have to do it every other day or every day or like twice a day it's gonna get tiring so later on when we started to get like uh, melting cold melting cold type of weather then uh, we had like ice everywhere in our garden which wasn't also uh, the best thing ever I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you would like to see more uh, countryside living, uh, soft living type of videos. I do have gardening videos in the future coming when the gardening season starts and just slow living, everything and else between. Uh, I'm gonna share some tips in the future about things. I'm definitely gonna show you our renovations and everything like that. So if you're interested you can subscribe to my channel and I'm very appreciated so uh, I don't know I'm gonna end it here and well uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video
拜。